Welcome back to my channel. Finally, after a few weeks, I've been working with this Dodgy V Max phone. I can finally do my review, and I can tell you this phone is amazing. I literally recharge this phone once a week. This phone has a 22,000 milliampere battery and is amazing. It's a very thick, as you see, you can tell it's a thick phone. This is my, I'll show you the difference. This is my old Samsung. You can tell normal Samsung and this is my phone, which is probably like three times thicker than normal phone. But obviously the thickness is because the battery. You can have 22,000 milliampere in a little tiny slim phone because its technology is not there yet. One day we might be able to have a, like a such thin phone with larger batteries, just, just not yet. Obviously this phone is a much thicker than normal, but if you can deal with that, it's fine. I use this phone as a, my main phone and I love it. I really love it. Charge it once a week. But even if, if you can, you can stretch it like once every 10 days with a normal usage. I don't do anything crazy. I don't really browse much on my phone. I don't do much uh, many browsing social. I don't watch videos. I don't do gaming. But if you like a normal one, make a calls, receive calls, little things. Wow, well, once a week, it's enough. I charge my phone like a, usually on Monday morning. And by Sunday night, I have like a maybe 25% left. So 75% battery used in seven days. I can literally go on for like a couple of days more. Um, yes, pro cons, obviously. Pro, battery. Okay, no, <laughs> no argue with that. Also, another pro is this phone is that the performance actually is very good. He got like octa core with 20 gigabyte of memory. So 12 gigabytes are the normal ones. The eight gigabytes are virtual. So virtual that means they will use the internal storage as a memory to make it like a little bit faster and now. Uh, I like it. I like it. Again, for gaming, it's amazing. Big screen, it's a six dot uh, thing 58 inches. So it's a no as much bigger than the latest Samsung and uh, yeah it's, I think it's pretty pretty similar with the uh, with the, the dimension he got a fingerprint sensor so I can see this is locked I can unlock my phone with my fingerprint and now it is a lot so obviously I can you know like go on YouTube browse and do all my stuff this phone runs Android 12 and I'm not sure if it will receive Android 13. This is one of the cons because obviously this is a custom made uh, version of Android and I'm not 100% sure if Doji will release Android 13 for this phone because that's, uh, yeah, it's not like a Samsung, Google, you know, always there with the latest version. So I I'm fine with that, obviously, in terms of security, can be for some people it can be a problem because some people are more concerned about security they always want the latest version. Android apps, you have an Android uh, store, so that's fine. You can go Google Play Store, you can download everything from there. And um, the apps will be always up to date, so it's not a big deal. I had no problem with any software at all. I, the camera, the camera is amazing. He got like a three cameras here at the back. As you see, and the those three cameras are like a 108 megapixel, which is not bad, 
but the sensor is not as good as Samsung or Google phone or iPhone. I can show you some photos I've taken with my Samsung and with this phone and you can tell the difference. My old Samsung, like a three years old, is better than this phone in terms of uh, video, in terms of photos. In terms of video, one of the coolest things, I love this phone and, uh, uh, and the reason why I got it, even if I don't really use much, but this phone has night vision camera, which basically you know, when you watch video, you see, you know, the black and white over like pitch black and you still can see through the, the night. This phone can do it. I will make you a video with the difference between my Samsung and this in a pitch black. <laughs> and then you will see, you will see. It's cool, it's cool. It's one of the, if you go camping, for example, you are in, you know, like under the stars in a pitch black, you don't have any light at all. With this phone, you can film and you can see through the night. Uh, with normal phones, yeah, you need to use the torch, but even the torch doesn't go far. Um, price. Price compared to the other phone is much, much cheaper. This phone, I got this phone when I was in Japan on my uh, on holiday, and um, I really had a plan to buy this phone when I was here at home. And then once I saw it live, like in front of me, I said, no, this phone must be mine. So I got this phone for basically uh, 350 Australian dollars, which is nothing compared like obviously the latest iPhone, the latest Samsung, that's like 10 almost 10 times more. Not really, but at least like five times more, even more than five times. But obviously, yeah, again, camera, it's better on other phones. This is decent, it's decent camera. Don't, don't get me wrong, I will show you all that. Uh, Everything is not bad. If you if, if you find with that, it's good. Night vision uh, camera. The cons is uh, the only thing so far I can tell you. Sometimes I like to dress up. Dress up. I like have like a little you know tight pants or like a jacket, and then you can you know you can put this in your pants. And if your pants are not tight on you, you can feel it actually that they go down because this foam. The weight of this phone, I actually checked that, is a 600 grams. It's almost, it's all, it's not lesser than one kilo, but in between, the 600 grams, it's a lot. Normal phones, we would be like, what, 130, 150 grams? So that's much, much heavier. So obviously for girls that like, you know, handbag and things, maybe it's not ideal, but this phone, for people like me, like a heavy duty phone, you know, you drop this, most likely you break the floor, but you won't break the, the phone. This phone is heavy duty. If I drop this phone right now, oh, likely my tile will crack, but this phone will still work. And then drop my phone so far, <laughs> so good. But yeah, obviously I'm not, I don't wanna test this right now, but I've seen something on it, I've seen people try that, and actually this phone is good. And another option, he can go underwater. He actually is able to, you can use this camera if you go for snorkeling, you can actually go underwater and make a video. Me, personally, I didn't try that because I don't want to take the risk, but there is an option. You can also see the, where you, the part where you charge your phone is actually is a sealed and you can remove you know like the the cover here and then you charge your phone it's a usb-c but yeah again i didn't try to go underwater with this phone i didn't go to snorkeling at all if i do it i will use my proper camera for that uh i don't want to take the risk i will break the phone but it's, it's this phone is amazing i love it and uh, yeah, well, if you if you have, don't have any problem with the, the weight, you don't have any problem with, you know, all those other little things, this is fun for you. It's much cheaper and it does the job. If you go for camping, if you go out about and you don't need, to, you know, you don't have any PowerPoint for days, and you are worried about, you know, like, oh, my phone is going to be flat or I won't be able to charge my phone or something, this is for you because you don't need to charge this phone for at least a week. Depends obviously your usage, but with normal usage, one week or oh, plenty. Even more than one week, if you just keep the phone for messages and calls. 
So far so good, Dodgy V Max is the phone for people like a heavy duty phone. Well done Dodgy.